for those who recently moved to the UK or those who are planning to come to the UK because international students that are resuming September admission session are already coming into the UK. So you need to watch this video to the end and share with all your contact. As I'll be sharing with you some of the things you need to do as a migrant coming into the UK for the first time, these things will determine how fast you will settle in and it can also have some ripple effects in your long-term plan. So that is why you need to watch this video to the end and share with all your contacts. Hi guys, as you all know, my name is Victor. If you are new to this channel, in this channel, I give latest updates about UK and UK immigration, ways you can study abroad and ways you can migrate through a skilled workers migration route. If this content looks like something that interests you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give a thumb up to this video. You can as well leave your thoughts in the comment box. So guys, let's get started. As soon as you arrive in a new country as a migrant, one of the best ways you can learn and gain more experience to settle in faster is for you to learn from those who are joining the same route you are going through at that moment. With that, you can get a first-hand information on how to navigate some of the hurdles you might face as a new migrant or as a first-timer to a new country. International students who will be resuming September admission session have all been coming into the UK in their numbers. This video will be so informative to enable you get a first-hand information on some of the things you need to do as soon as you arrive in the United Kingdom. So the moment you arrive in the UK, the first thing you need to do is to source for accommodation, right? You need a place where you can live while you are looking for accommodation. If you've not secured one before you arrived, you can as well look for NBNB shortlet where you can stay before you get an accommodation, right? While you are sourcing for accommodation, you can as well schedule a time to pick up your BROP, which is your biometric residence permit, right? At the point of filling your visa application, you might have chosen a place to pick up your biometric resident permits when you arrive in the UK. Some persons use the post office while others use the universities or the school where they will be attending, right? So you try as much as possible to pick up your biometric resident permit as soon as you arrive in the UK. Because without your biometric resident permit, you will not be able to apply for your national insurance number. So once you're able to pick up your biometric resident permit and you're able to secure accommodation even if you've not secured accommodation and you have a place you are living in for as a short let right you can as well be sourcing for accommodation schedule out time to pick up your biometric resident permit and the next thing you need to do once you've gotten your residence permit is to apply for your national insurance number right because without your national insurance number you will not be able to work a paid job yeah right here in the uk so once you're able to get your biometric resident permit you apply for your national insurance number online. After making application of your uh, national insurance number, it will take two to four weeks for you to be able to get the national insurance number sent to your address, right? So the moment you pick up your biometric resident permit, immediately apply for your national insurance number. So the next thing you need to do is to open a bank account. That is where your salary will be paid to in the event you got, you've gotten a job, right? So bank account number, it's very important in the UK. So these are some of the things you need to do as soon as you arrive in the UK. So you need to register under any of the GP that is close to your location. In the event that you took heal, you can as well assess healthcare through your um, general practices. So that is very important. So if you are a student and you have dependents, you and your dependents can go to any of the closest GP. You can easily assess care when you are in need of it. What you need to do go with your biometric resident permit. You can go with any of the bills, utility bills you've had for proof of address and all that. So with that, you can be able to register with any of the GP closest uh, to your location. One other important thing I will advise you to do as a migrant, the moment you arrive in the UK, after you've sorted out some of those primary uh, stuff I made mention of, is for you to register for your provisional driver's license. Here in the UK, driver's license gives you an edge in some um, job placements. You find that in um, the website or some of the job uh, sites, you see driver license is some uh, is a primary requirement in some of the job you will see on the website. So as a migrant, you need to try as much as possible 
to apply for your provisional driver's license even if you don't have a car or you don't intend buying a car within um a period of time you can as well start the process because driver license process here in uk takes a, a little while because you need to book date for your theory test uh, if you're unable to pass it at first sitting you can keep trying until you, you are able to pass your theory test after that you now need to book for your practical test and getting a date for practical test sometimes you can uh, it can take six five six seven months for you to see available date so it takes a longer time for you to be able to um, go start your professional driver license to when you uh, complete your practical test so it's advisable as a migrant the moment you arrive the uk Put this as part of your priority. Your driver's license uh, application process should be part of your priority so that um, even if you're not planning to um, buy a car within um, your period of study, right, you can as well start the process so that for the completion of your study or upon completion of your study, you'll be able to get your uh, valid uh, UK driver's license. This will give you an edge when you are making some job application because if you are looking for a job in the UK, there are some job you will find out, um, they'll put in their the description, the job description that driver's license is a requirement. So those who have driver's license will have an edge over you. And maybe some will tell you, without driver's license, you will not be able to continue the application, right? If you've started the application without a driver's license, you will not be able to complete it. So driver's license, it's an advantage for you if you have one. So as a migrant, put this as part of your priority. The moment you arrive in the UK, try to start your driver license application process right you doesn't need to be here for many years before you can get a valid uk driver license once you've lived here for a couple of months you can apply for your provisional driver's license so with that you can walk through the process to get your valid uk driver license this will give you an edge in terms of job even if you have an international driver license it only lasts for one year so after one year you are not supposed to use an international driver license to drive in the uk if you've lived here for more than one year so driver license is something you need to put as part of your urgent schedule the moment you arrive at the united kingdom another thing i want to advise those coming into the uk or those planning to come to the uk within um the next couple of weeks the next couple of months is for you to start building your credit score right here in the uk credit score it's one thing you don't need to play with most especially if you're planning to live in the uk for a long period of time after your study you intend living here for a long period your credit score is something you need to take very serious and you need to start building it the very first day you arrive in the uk because if you made any mistakes from that period it will have a ripple effect in your credit score so credit score uh, is something i've talked on in one of my previous video on this channel but if you want to learn more on how to build your credit score you can as well uh, reach out to me there's a telegram group uh, beneath the description box of this video you can as well um, chat reach out to me i will tell you how to build your credit score so credit score is one um, very important thing you need to take um, serious as a migrant the moment you arrive in the uk ways to build your credit score should be part of the plan you have because it will help you a lot when you want to assess credits because you never can tell when you will need um, credit either a car loan or a mortgage finance and other uh, credit um, history so i will tell you how to build your credit score if you don't know how to build it you can reach out to me and i will do that for you free of charge or you can as well check my previous video you see one of my previous video where i talked about ways you can improve your credit score last but not the least you need to map out a long-term plan of what you want to do in the uk most especially if you are coming in as a student this is something you need to put into cognizance what do you want to do after graduation if you want to remain back in the uk this is very important because it will determine how far you'll be able to go because if you did not have a plan in place you will not have anything you are working towards right a proper planning will enable you have a set goal that you'll be working towards over a period of time you'll be able to achieve it so as a migrant come into the uk you need to have a long-term plan of what you want to do right the type of job you want to do you need to map it out and see how you can work towards it if you have a plan of going into a particular discipline where you are not trained uh, before now you can start doing some other certification training other training to qualify you or to give you a good advantage to be able to dive into that um, sector and thrive so if you are planning to stay in the uk for a long period of time 
you need to have a set plan, a long-term plan on how you can be able to achieve whatever plan you've set out for yourself. For those who come into the UK without any uh, long-term plan, most of them ended up regretting um, that decision because some persons come into the UK with the intent to study, then after study, they will go back to their country. But uh, in the course of their study, they find out they want to remain back, but forgetting they did not make any long-term plan when they come initially. And so many of those um, persons or persons who fall into that category, most of them are regretting because they find out they never had a set plan that they are working towards as such. They are just working, um, doing things in a random um, a manner and they never achieve something tangible out of it. So if you are a migrant coming into the UK or you new, uh, recently arrived in the UK, set out a long-term plan of what you want to achieve in terms of the type of job you want to do, in terms of uh, the place you want to live, in terms of what you want to achieve. You need to set out all of these plans so that you can have something you are working towards, right? So you will not start running a rat race. At the end of the day, you might regret not putting all of this um, plan in place so you can be able to uh, know what you are doing at every point in time and get a good track of your activity over a period of time. So guys, I thought I should share this information for those who are coming into the UK as international students are coming in in their numbers, those resuming a uh, September admission uh, session. I believe this video will um, give value to uh, you and some of your curiosity, right? So if you get value for this video, don't forget to uh, give a thumb up to the video. You can as well subscribe to the channel and share with uh, your contact. You can as well uh, leave your thoughts on the comment box. We've come to the end of this video. See you in my next uh, video.